I'm Dr. Daniel Karitskas, Chief of the Division of Infectious Diseases at Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harriet Ryan Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. The Division of Infectious Diseases is a clinical and research uh, division within the Department of Medicine focused on the care of patients with infectious diseases and research on uh, infectious diseases uh, throughout the world. What interested me about infectious diseases as a specialty is that it really isn't confined to any single organ system, but involves infections in any part of the body. In addition, infectious diseases involves not just medicine and science, but also public policy, public health to solve some of the biggest issues facing society today and ensuring equity in the way in which we address these problems. My team has been uh, engaged in HIV research for uh, the last uh, 30 or 40 years, almost for as long as uh, uh, HIV has been known. We've focused specifically on questions about uh, drug resistance uh, as a consequence of antiretroviral therapy, and more recently, on the challenge of eradicating HIV and searching for an HIV cure. The mission of the Division of Infectious Diseases is to provide outstanding inpatient and outpatient care to people with infectious diseases, to conduct creative clinical, laboratory, and population-based research to reduce the burden of infectious diseases, and to teach trainees at all levels how to prevent, diagnose, and treat infectious diseases. One of the unique aspects of our outpatient care is that we are really focused on creating a medical home for our patients in order to provide them with all of the services needed, especially for our patients with HIV and for our patients who have complications of uh, immunocompromising therapies for uh, cancer and uh, other diseases. There are three major areas uh, in which the division provides important uh, clinical care. The first would be our outpatient care for people with HIV. The second would be the important role that we play in helping to care for uh, cancer patients who may have infections as a complication of their cancer chemotherapy. And the third is helping uh, to support the care of, of transplant patients and patients with implantable devices uh, who uh, often uh, suffer from uh, infectious complications of those procedures. I think the unique aspect of our division is how global the reach is of the uh, work we do. Uh, we have projects that are ongoing in Botswana, in South Africa, in uh, uh, Vietnam, in Peru, uh, really all across the world. The care we give is really at the cutting edge of infectious diseases and relies uh, heavily on our uh, continued investment and involvement in research into novel uh, therapeutic approaches to treat uh, emerging infectious diseases, as well as uh, new approaches for preventing infections. Uh, for example, the work that we've done recently uh, in bringing COVID-19 vaccines uh, uh, to uh, realization. Our research, clinical care, and teaching are really integrally interwoven with each other. We're always looking for new and better ways to treat our patients uh, and using our fellows as uh, people who help deliver that care as well as conduct the research. This includes research into areas such as COVID-19 vaccines, research into novel therapeutics for HIV, and new ways to prevent the transmission of infections among uh, patients receiving transplants. This past year saw the emergence of a novel coronavirus, the SARS-CoV-2 virus, that causes COVID-19. Members of the Division of Infectious Diseases at Brigham and Women's Hospital have been at the forefront in understanding how this virus causes disease, what are the correlates of uh, severe disease, and how can we best prevent infection, both through infection control measures as well as through trials to demonstrate the efficacy of COVID-19 vaccines. The division was integrally involved in the response at Brigham and Women's Hospital to COVID-19. Members of our division serve as the hospital epidemiologists and were key players in the incident command structure to help uh, develop policies to safeguard both our patients and the hospital staff. In addition, uh, many people in the division were involved in uh, designing and implementing clinical trials to demonstrate the efficacy of COVID-19 vaccines, which are now approved for emergency use to protect the public against COVID-19. COVID-19 is a respiratory virus, and so much like influenza and uh, other respiratory viruses, it's spread by droplets uh, when people cough or sneeze. 
but there's some evidence that it may also be spread by aerosol, making it much more contagious than influenza. The cornerstones of stopping the spread of COVID-19 are first and foremost to take uh, measures individually to protect ourselves and the people we're in contact with by wearing masks and being appropriately distanced to prevent spread from person to person. But on a global scale and more importantly, vaccinating everybody against COVID-19 is what's really going to bring this pandemic to a close. Members of the Division of Infectious Diseases uh, were leaders in the Moderna mRNA-1273 uh, trial that led to the approval of that vaccine for use uh, in the United States. The main goal of the Division of Infectious Disease moving forward is to continuously expand the scope of our research and the breadth of the clinical care that we give. In order to accomplish this, we hope to increase the diversity of our faculty and our staff to be able to reach as many people in communities uh, at need. Over the next five years, I think the division is going to increasingly focus its work on the challenges facing uh, underserved communities and how we can help implement policies and uh, structures that will reduce the impact of infectious disease that affect these communities disproportionately.